Finally got a decent day out here in uh, Chicago. The past couple days have been a little cloudy and rainy and I just didn't feel like doing anything. But today is actually sunny. It's like 50 degrees. So what I'm gonna start doing is pretty much just prepping the GTR so that I could begin the wrap process. Basically what I'm gonna do today is clean the car up real good. You know, uh, I did buy a I did buy a clay bar, clay bar kit. So I'm gonna be clay barring the car. And then after that, let it sit for a while and start taking all of the panels apart. Pretty much today's goal is to just have the car ready. That way tomorrow morning, I think it's supposed to be like 60 degrees. Tomorrow morning I can start the actual wrapping because if it's too cold out, then the wrap is most likely not gonna stick. And that'll just be like a waste of money, you know? So that's why I'm pretty much just being real patient with the weather as well. So bear with me guys. I know I said I was gonna do it the other day, but the weather just wasn't cooperating. And it's not like I live in Cali, right? Where it's always sunny out. Unfortunately, I do not live in California yet. I'm trying to move there in the future, but not yet. Yeah, today's goal is pretty much just to take the panels off, clean the car, and leave it all just like that. Whatever I'm gonna wrap on the car is going to stay on, just like the hood. Mm, the mirrors, I was debating, but I think I'm gonna take them off. Uh, the wings coming off. This wing is staying on. This top one's coming off. Rear bumpers coming off. Tail lights I might be able to get away with. These rear valences are coming off. Five screws are coming off. Door handles, I don't know if I should take off or if I should leave. Well, let's pretty much get started because I woke up pretty late, it's like one already. So I don't really have much time, but first thing I'm gonna do is the clay bar. Mm, these things are pretty cool. It just says, mist it with the thing, and then you wipe it dry. Need clay bar on your hands, small disc, rub clay bar, lubricate surface to remove bonded contaminants. Hmm, interesting. I never clay barred a car before, but it seems pretty simple. So you got your rag. your detailer and it comes with these three little clay bars these things are cool all right so from my understanding is we have to use this first then you go over it with the clay bar and then you wipe it dry so i'm gonna give it a quick shot i don't know if you're gonna be able to see a difference, but here we go. After uh, YouTubing how to do a clay bar, I mean how to use a clay bar, it looks like I was doing it the right way, so. I'm gonna keep doing what I was, is that thing? I'll just keep doing what I was doing, and yeah, enjoy. <laughs>
pretty much just finished clay barring the entire car and this is the end result. Hold on, let me focus. How dirty it is. So pretty much next up what we gotta do is tear it apart. I'm gonna start with the front end first since I already know what to do. What's up bitches? Welcome back to Daniel's. What's your page's <laughs> name? I don't know your page's name. Oh, okay, so I'm ready to start. Taking off the front end after a week. Like Danny's awesome. here. We got Danny, we got Tony, we got Steven, and George just came out. He was hungover last night. No, I wasn't. But yeah, I already took out the front end once, so I already know what to do. And let's get started. So you slap the turbo kit on, we have the same mods, only a big dog. Oh, I just broke the clip. Ah, oh, you should have had me take it out, dude. And out the house. There you go. Yeah, the clip should come up. Quick update, we got, well I got, these guys didn't do shit. I held the fender, All the other people left already. But I got the fender out, bumper out, and the other fender. I couldn't take off the side skirts, so I'm gonna leave them on. You gonna take the wing out? Yeah, next up I'm gonna, I gotta see how to take off the rear bumper. The caps, the thing, the thing, the Stay tuned you guys, cause Today I'm determined to take everything apart so that I can start tomorrow since it's going to be like 60 degrees. Alright, so I think I took everything off for the rear bumper. Now I'm just going to try to wiggle it out. Can somebody help? Huh? Can uh, somebody help? Uh, Hello? Hello? Can somebody help me? What are you doing? I need to disconnect some shit, but I got the rear bumper in the trunk. <laughs> I got the rear bumper off. Oh. I just need help disconnecting it. Gracias. Yes. Uh, that's it, man. Damn. Damn this thing's not weigh anything. It looks so tiny. It does, right? <laughs> I read the flu vlog. What'd you get, Tony? Pizza. Some chincho <laughs> wang. <laughs> Some compound chicken. Mm -hmm. What about you, Lalo? The same shit. Really shy, bro. Really shy. What's this? Chincho wang. It's makahala. Hey, you, George? Some Beijing of the Naogan beef. Some Beijing <laughs> of the Naogan beef. And his chicken. Yeah, that some shrimp tails. Nah, some shrimp. Honeymala shrimp. And some noodles. Oila, oila, oila. <laughs> right here on the best, the best review, food review show. The best food review the show. Gondos are us. Gondos are us. Take a bite. Uh, uh, uh. Take a bite. <laughs> Oi. Oi. All right, I'm gonna do a quick walk around the car to show you how it is. The front end is off. Tony eating some. Chicken or the beef, the rear bumper off. The rear bumper is really tiny. It just goes from here. The rear bumper is literally just this piece. All the way over here. That's it. I took off the rear spats. Here's the rear bumper. These are the parts I took off. Rear bumper, the fender, front bumper, other fender. Corner light. Y'all never seen a naked R32 before? 
Should I censor this? Because it's naked. Guys, I'm pretty much just going to call it a day already. It got super cold out. It's too cold to wrap anything today. But like I said, I just wanted to basically prep the car for tomorrow so I can start wrapping tomorrow. And today was a pretty successful day. I did everything that I wanted to do. Took off all the parts. See, they're all just laying over there. But I still have to take the mirrors off, which I could do later. The wing I couldn't take off. It's got like some type of adhesive that I don't I don't want to mess with. Uh, side skirts got like double-sided tape all around here. I don't want to mess with that either, so I'm just gonna wrap it with the side skirt and the wing on. Hopefully, it doesn't give us much trouble, but like everything else, it probably is. Uh, I try to make things easy on myself. I put all the screws. See all these bags? They're all labeled. I got like a bunch of bags. See all these bags are all the screws where they go to. The tools that I used, I just left them in the trunk. That way I don't have to look for them. Uh, corner lights, all the miscellaneous things are just in the trunk. This is how a bare bone, well semi bare bone, R32 looks like. You know, I think the red is really going to complement the wheels really good. With the black chrome. The rear bumper has been out, everything's out. Look at that. Is that a Tommy? That is a Tommy. Holy fuck, it's bigger than mine. If you are new or if you haven't subscribed already, Please make sure you subscribe. This is going to be a fun uh, vlog series that I'm doing. And I also did order some sh some shit. I also did order something new for the R6 that I'll be revealing once it gets here. I don't know when it's going to get here. But yeah, we got some more R6 stuff coming. GTR is going to get wrapped. The Z. The Z needs Jesus. The Z needs a lot of work. But my brother just hasn't been paying attention to it. I mean, I don't know what else to say. Other than, thank you guys for watching. You already know what to do. Subscribe, like, comment. And I'll see you tomorrow because I'll be uploading more videos. So, I'll see you guys next video.